everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am packing for a trip to Hawaii and I have Summer here. Summer is going to be going with me because I want to take some cute photos and stuff of her while I'm there. So what I want to do though is figure out which outfits I even want to take and then I'm going to pack them into this dolly luggage and I'm hoping everything will fit inside. As a matter of fact, everything has to fit inside. Whatever doesn't fit in here doesn't get to go. So I'm going to try these items on and then decide what I want to take with me. And the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with the official Smart Doll black bikini because I haven't actually tried this on her yet. And of course this is going to have to go. It's not even a question, right? But I want to see how she looks in it because you know, Anytime you're about to go to the beach, you always, especially around the holidays, you need to try on your swimsuits to make sure they still fit. Now, I haven't been feeding her after midnight or anything, but you never know with these girls uh, what might happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop her head off so that I can take the bra off and then we'll put the swimsuit top on and then followed by the bottoms. Now, I know a lot of people like to take the arms off to dress the dolls, but I am not a big fan of that because I have a hard time getting them back in. So I just kind of do it this way. Now the swimsuit is just a band. So I'm gonna slide it over. Let's see, let me think about how to do this. Because I haven't done this before. Just open the swimsuit. All right, so sliding over and there it is, and it is actually, her arm needs to be on the inside because it is a halter swimsuit. So let's get her arm in. There we go, and then around the neck. And let's see, it got all twisted up her back. Oh, Summer, honey. You can tell I'm not a pro at doing this because this needs to be across her back. There we go. Okay, so this one is definitely coming, like I said, because it's a swimsuit. We're going to Hawaii. Now let's just try the bottoms on just for funsies. So her black bottoms. And I grabbed these, like I said, um, a few months ago, but I just haven't used them yet because I haven't been anywhere. I have them, I actually had Hawaii in mind when I bought this because I wanted to have the official kind of swimsuit. And besides, you can never have too many swimsuits when you're going to the beach. So, this thing is fully lined, which is awesome because, you know, the staining. And you don't want to wear stain prevention with a bikini because that kind of defeats the purpose. So, here she is in her black bikini, which is definitely going to be going to, going to be going, that sounds strange, which is definitely getting in her luggage to go. So yeah, she's gonna get some really cute photos in this one. So let's open the luggage and let's undress her and pack this away neatly into her luggage. You know what, if I untie this, it might be way easier. Oh yeah, for sure. You see that? You see how much easier this is than what I was doing to begin with? Way easier. So, all right, bikini, done. So the next thing I wanna try on is I have a pink bodysuit. Now this is from Mabinjo, and it's an SD size pink bodysuit, but I think it will work as a swimsuit or as a part of an outfit. So I'm going to show you, let's see how she looks. And I have not tried this one on her before either. I have a lot of clothes here from Mobinjo because I really love her clothes and she really loves smart dolls too. So she makes a lot of clothes for smart dolls. Plus I go to a doll show twice a year that she's at. So she sells physically, she sells on Etsy as well, which I'll link below but she also sells at a doll show um, that I go to twice a year. And so it's, while it's fun to buy on Etsy, it's so much fun to be able to shop for your dollies in person. And so I always end up buying a ton of stuff from her every time I go. All right, so 
This actually looks super cute on her. Wow. Like, so she had to change a swimsuit to go with her to Hawaii. Oh yeah, that is her color. Oh my gosh. That pink, that's so her. All right, so, but I had in mind with the bodysuit that maybe she might wear the denim shorts here. And so, I'm gonna put the stain prevention on. I don't know how weird this is gonna look with a bodysuit, but we're about to find out. I'm gonna shuffle some things around here. And this is her necklace, which I, well, I'll definitely take that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack that into her luggage now because you never know when she might want an accessory. So I'm gonna try this and we're gonna see how this looks with the bodysuit. This might be iffy because I don't really want to do it without the stain prevention shorts just because of the horror stories I've heard. Um, and I've, I've been a vinyl doll collector for a long time. I have tons of stained dolls in my collection, most unfortunately. So I know it does happen. Plus I'm gonna be in a different climate than what I'm in now and you never know how that kind of thing affects um, dyes and whatnot. So I pull these shorts on and are we going to, is this gonna work together? That's the real question here. Does this outfit work together? And you know, without the shorts, I think this would be really cute, but the stain prevention shorts are kind of like ruining this. So maybe if I didn't leave it on for long, let's, let me just take back every word I just said. I'm gonna eat all those words and see if, cause I could just put it on quickly and do a quick picture and then slide them off without time to leave any stains. So I wanna see how this looks cause this is like a super sexy kind of like 80s model look I feel like with the, the swimsuit and the jean shorts over it. Oh yeah, that is, that is really cute. Wow, that is super like Sexy, but like, you know, girl next door kind of super cute beach look. Yeah, so this is definitely going. And I'll probably do, I'll probably do pictures with her here and, or with just this bodysuit as like a swimsuit and then also with the shorts. And by the way, if you want to see the pictures, you can follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube channel name, just without the commas and the and. So it's at Muñeco's Poopies Dolls which by the way means dolls, dolls, dolls. It's dolls in Spanish, dolls in French, and then dolls in English. So that is what my channel name is in case you've ever wondered and didn't know. All right, so I'm gonna hold this out to the side because I think I can also use this t-shirt with it, the Haters Gonna Hate shirt. I don't know that I'm gonna take it because it's not necessarily super beachy, but they're in Hawaii, so we're going to Oahu and there is a lot of Japanese cultural stuff in Hawaii because there are a lot of Japanese people that live in Hawaii. So I think it might be cute to have that shirt if we end up going to the Japanese gardens or anywhere like that. So that it's not necessarily a beach thing, but maybe um, some cultural sites. But the swimsuit is a definite yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack it in her luggage. I think I've made enough space here. I can put the luggage Go. So we've got two swimsuits. Well, one swimsuit that bodies as a double bodies as a double suit, doubles as a bodysuit to wear under the shorts, and then um, we're gonna take the shorts and the stain prevention shorts. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and pack the stain prevention shorts because I know I'm just gonna put them under here. I want to check out um, this top with the shorts. And this top's gonna be a little more difficult for me to put on because I am gonna have to remove her head for this. But that's kind of the sign of a really, you know, what was I gonna say? I don't even remember. Other than I just am not comfortable pulling the arms off, which I know a lot of people really prefer that method. But for me, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. So we're just gonna keep popping her head off. Because the head, head removal, head removal is my thing, you guys. BK 
decapitation for fashion. I'm 100% a go for that. All right, where is your hand? Here it is. And if you've never watched my channel before and this is the first time, I do have like a lot of numbness in my hands. So if you see me fumbling around with this stuff, it's not because I'm just totally inept. I do, like I have some issues with dressing dolls. Smart Doll I do pretty well with though because the good thing about Smart Doll is everything's so big. I have more issues with smaller things, but. All right, so there's her super cute shirt and then pairing with the jean shorts of course it's going to be most likely adorable and with this t-shirt i would definitely like i said i would use the stain prevention shorts because they look okay with um t-shirts unlike it they just didn't look right with that bodysuit so but that's really cute and then to top that off i have the belt and this is the official smart doll belt i don't remember what the name of it is in the shop but so I can put this on. I think it actually like completes the whole look. It's just a nice accessory. It makes, it makes the whole look seem finished. When you have the belt, like I didn't buy the belt at first when I was in the store because I thought, why would I really even want a belt? But the belt really just finishes, it finishes the outfit. So you can see it's just like this really nice accessory that ties the whole thing together. Now you might be wondering about shoes. So I only have two pairs of shoes for summer. I have this pair of sneakers and then I have the pair of like brown clog boots that came with her. So we are only going to be taking the sneakers to Hawaii because the brown boots don't really make sense in Hawaii. She's going to be barefoot a lot in the sand, so I think this is fine. And this matches most of the other things that I have packed up for her. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm not going to pack the shoes because she's going to wear them. So she's going to go in my backpack and her luggage will be separate. But let me take the belt off. I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up in her luggage so that she has that. And then the pant, the shorts are, are definite, they're going. So let's go ahead and pack those up. So we'll put those in, see how her luggage packing is going. And now I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and pack this shirt. This shirt might end up coming out because again, it's not super beachy. And it's not beachy at all but if we were to do any you know cool other activities this might be cute for like urban activity sort of things instead of beach so let's go ahead and take that now the next thing I'm going to try on is this outfit also from Mabinjo this is like a glittery purple um I haven't tried it on her yet either so I'm really excited to see how this looks but I think this is going to be like the perfect tropical wear so like maybe not for the beach but if we're doing something you know tropical then I think this is super cute for that so let's see how this goes on so these go over the arms and this goes over the bust hmm you want to watch me struggle with this one all right there's one arm is this upside down for myself so fashion to me is an enigma I buy a lot of my clothes on Amazon or at Target so if that tells you anything or if I go to another country sometimes I'll go in their um, clothing shops and look around because it's just kind of 
novel to have like clothes from somewhere else. So, okay. Let's put our head back on. That is really adorable. Wow. So 100% this is going because this is super cute either for the beach or for like I said like a tropical activity like if we're by the pool or whatever this outfit is precious. So it's going so I'm going to pull it off and pack it up. So there's the bottoms and the tops. Top singular, that's not a plural word. All right, so this is definitely going. Her luggage is actually got a good amount of space left. So the next outfit I want to try is I'm going to try this one because these I've got these mermaid scale leggings, which are super cute for again the beach. So I'm going to put those on her, and they're from Mobenjo as well. Like I said, I have a lot of clothes from Mobenjo. I love her clothes. All right. And I feel like she pretty much has to take these due to the tropical nature of this vacation. So, and I don't think I'll leave these on long because I don't have stain prevention pants um, to put under them. And I don't know um, the insides are kind of like black so I don't probably want to leave those on too long and then I'm gonna pair this with the with her original white shirt so this is the white shirt she came with in the um what's it called the default outfit I want to call it the meat outfit and I want to call it that because of American Girl because if you if you ever collected American Girls or had American Girls or have American Girls the outfit that they come in is called the meat outfit this is her meat outfit and this um, particular these sleeves are particularly small so I took her hands off for this one and what's kind of cool about this white shirt is I thought about buying some extras of this shirt because it's really well made and then doing some iron-ons but it's almost it's like do you want to spend that much to iron on and then what if the iron on melts because I have ruined some doll shirts with iron-ons before because I either smeared them or I didn't hold the iron down long enough. Just take my word for it that I am not an expert at iron-ons. So, this outfit is also super, super cute. So I think that's a definite, yes, let's pack it because that's gonna be really sweet for pictures. I'm thinking this one's like, I don't know, pictures in the forest maybe, like because one of the places we're going has like really nice trails um, through this beachside forest that's really cute. So this could be a cute outfit for that. So I'm gonna remove these and they're going into the luggage. I think I could actually pack everything here now that I'm really looking at it because the luggage still has, it's still like half empty. So I know I sound pessimistic there, but that's actually an optimistic half empty because now I can fill it with more items. So we'll just leave those kind of like that. So put those in there. And now I'm going to try, I'm going to leave this shirt on for just a second. I've got some leggings and these leggings came from um, Austin BJDC. These leggings were in the welcome bag that everybody got. And I got two. I got the purple ones and the yellow ones because my husband came with me and we both had bags. So I got two welcome bags. So let's see if these leggings work for summer. And I'm going to, let's see hung on her feet just a little. Alright, got them off, around, and there they are. And I am thinking that these leggings are 
a little too short for the look I'm trying to do. So you can see they kind of come off. So these would be cute leggings under a dress, but I don't really have a dress that that would suit. So I'm going to leave these leggings behind and I'm going to assume the yellow leggings are the same way. So let me have a look there and see if the yellow is the same situation. And so these are a no-go. So we're gonna leave those to the side. Let's check the yellows. Bright and sunny yellow would be really nice for a beach tropical vacation. And I think it's gonna be the same thing. But they're, they're just, they're almost like exercise pants. They're really cute. Hmm. Oh, I kind of like the yellow being short. It reminds me of like running pants. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. Should the should these leggings go? Yay or no? Let me leave them on and try on her keep calm and carry a small smart ball shirt because that was what I was planning to pair it with if I do take it. Let's take the hands off again. shirt off because this could be her travel outfit you know everybody wants to travel casual and comfy so she could like she could wear this and this could be her casual comfy outfit for traveling in aha that's a really good idea Allison see this is why I have to talk this stuff through with you guys white shirts definitely going though so I'm gonna go ahead and fold it and pack it in the luggage this luggage is not Marie Kondo style, it is just whatever. Okay, so let's put this shirt on. Keep calm and carry a smart doll. We'll do that. That's gonna be a long flight because I live in South Carolina, so it's gonna, it's a long flight to Hawaii, but it's totally worth it. I just hope summer is ready. She, well, she already had a long flight she had a long flight back from Japan with me. So this is actually gonna be shorter than her flight home. So nice, okay. All right, so hands on and head on. And I do think that this might be her travel outfit. Like I, she might go, this might be her flying outfit because it's really super cute and comfy and she'll be wearing her sneakers and it's perfect for flying. Okay, so that's settled. She's gonna wear this though, so I'm not gonna pack it. But before, I, I have one last thing I wanna try on her, which is this blue dress. It's a swing dress, which happens to look super cute with sneakers. And so that could be something for like a night out, like if we're going to an urban area, like, um, I don't know, or like at the hotel, taking photos at the hotel, or by the hotel pool, or by the bar, whatever. There's no telling what I'm gonna take pictures of. Sometimes I have all these ideas in my mind when I go, and I'm not a great photographer by any means. I just take pictures for fun. It's just enjoyable to me. I try to do cute things sometimes. So there's, sometimes I go with all these ideas about all the pictures I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna do this and that and the other. And then when you're in the moment on vacation, you kind of just don't do it because you end up doing a bunch of other stuff. But I will try to take pictures in all of these outfits that we have. So again, if you guys want to see that, just follow me on Instagram and you'll see all my travel photos from Hawaii. Now this dress is super easy to put on. It just goes up over the feet. And then because it's a halter dress, I really love it. As a matter of fact, because it's so easy, because I love easy outfits. All right, so there is halter dress and one hand, two hands, and that is super cute. So that's a cute like nighttime outfit. So if we're going out at night or like it's, it's late at night and I wanna take some cute photos, I think this is the outfit for that. So this one's definitely going. Now the Furby shirt I had planned on pairing with these leggings, but since I'm not gonna take the leggings, I think I'm not gonna take the Furby shirt. Um, so I think she's got enough stuff with this dress and then she's gonna wear this outfit on the plane. 
So I think she is all ready to go. So I'm gonna pack this one away and then let's see if her luggage will close. And it does, wonderful. She didn't even have to sit on it. Have you ever had to sit on your luggage before just to make sure it gets, everything gets in there and you get to close it? Yeah, I've done that. But I'm really good about packing light. I've learned the older I get because I, pack, I end up packing so much stuff sometimes. I actually did a video when I packed for Japan about how light I was packing because I was going to be bringing so much stuff back. Um, the older I get, the better I get at packing because it's like I realize that I don't wear half the stuff that I pack if I overpack when I go and it's then you're just having to lug it around the whole time you're on vacation. So I think Summer has done a good job of not overpacking her luggage and I will try to do the same when I go. Besides, I want to bring back a bunch of chocolates and coffee. From Hawaii so I need to have some space in my luggage for doing that and now let's put the leggings on and then bend your feet down honey so we can we can do this okay oh yeah I think this is the perfect travel outfit and I was about to poo-poo the whole outfit but like kind of like I poo-pooed the Furby outfit but that's okay it's still a cute outfit for something else but not for Hawaii, but this one is super cute for travel. Because the other thing is, if anybody stops me and asks questions, I can be like, hey, it's a smart doll. And I can explain the story because people do ask. People are usually generally very respectful to me when I am out in public with my dolls. I don't, never really had a negative encounter. So I've been really fortunate. I've, I've seen horror stories of other people that have had negative encounters, but luckily for me, I have never had such an encounter. And so I enjoy talking to people about them um, when they're curious. So here she is, all ready to go on her trip. And it's gonna be exciting. So like I said, if you guys wanna see the pictures that we take in Hawaii next week, now we're leaving a week from today, um, you can follow me on Instagram. And I'll put that um, in the comments or in the description below what my Instagram feed is. And let me know uh, which outfit was your favorite. What, what did you like best that Summer tried on today? Also, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And leave me a comment below and let me know what other Smart Doll videos would you like to see in the future. So thanks guys very much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.